had I had a gangbang wedding, and my, my kink.com, they flew my mom up to be in my shoot, and they and she walked me down the aisle, and then I got gangbanged. That was pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know that? That's fantastic. Met, Guys, what welcome to the mother. King's Affair. Yeah. So, so how long until it's the norm, no? Uh, I think okay, that's the, the way, question. that's the vows. No, yeah. no, we got to test what people are. But you that's guys, the new vows. Check this out. Guys always want to test women's sexuality. One best way to test sexuality is, is, is a new, new thing that I'm doing. It's kind of a, an opener and a topic and a study and a survey. You bring up the fact that despite the fact that we're in 2012, there's two applications. You're opening girls and they're all cool and blinged out and so on. But they act like little old ladies. Point it out. They feel embarrassed and they come back. You go, girls, you're adorable. Look at you. Your fashion is straight out of a music video. But you're acting like two ladies that are coming back from bingo. What, what could I do? Jump on you, you watch too much TV. So you can do it at that level. Or you do it at the level if you want to bring a lot of sex stuff. You go, you know what? It's funny. I was thinking, we're in the age 2012 where... If we start to talk sex right now, no filtering, straight up, whatever horny thoughts you have, you fucking say them out loud. How many people would still be uh, outraged and so on? So you got, you that's got three of the study. best pickup artists and a pickup artist female who's also a porn star that could teach you today about sex, about pickup, about relationships, about the whole fucking nine. So I tell you what, guys. Take the information while you have it. Next question. I don't know, that's my dream. I have a dream of a straight up pick up artist, porn star in the closet. I look at the clock when I see the Say Say that louder. First thing you're going to have to do is work on your tone. No, say first that thing, louder. Vince uses the bathroom the so there will be thing. no further interruption. He told me the same thing. Alright, what was your name and where are you calling from? What's up, Kevin? Uh, we're gonna be in San Francisco this upcoming weekend, so it's it's gonna be a fucking blast. All right, what's your question? Uh, no question, man. Hi. 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 Well, hi. What? What up? All right. He gets more points than those of you who are not calling in at all. Yeah, you, you, there's over 50 people on the call right now, and and don't be shy. Don't be shy. Pussies. All right, what's your name and where are you calling from? Johnny Cash from PA. Hey, what's up, Johnny Cash? I was at the gym today and I uh, talked to 10 girls, but the one I really wanted was in front of the nine that I failed. Would you just approach anyways in front of the one that blew you off? Abso-fucking-lutely. Look, let me tell this is one of the key things that I always teach. The more sets you open, the more attractive you become, whether you succeed in them or not, because you're building up pre-selection. Nobody's really paying attention to what you're doing and how the sets are coming out. You know, if, even if you do poorly, all they see is you talking to a girl. If they're staring at you and stalking you, that's because they already like you, so that doesn't matter anyway. So the fact is, if you open a girl, just open the next one. It doesn't matter if she's in the vicinity. Uh, APB? Yeah, I think you can be strategic about it as well. If this is a girl that you've already opened, you can do, you know, merging. You... Um, this is girl, I mean, so long as you're not being like weird or creepy, you're just being a friendly guy, you can use that as an opportunity to reopen uh, the girl that you had already opened before, and like, oh, hey, introduce me to your, your new friend. And then that way, you know, if you come in as, as a social circle friend. You know what I'm saying? If it's going well, I mean, you can obviously, like, you know, you want to end it probably on a high note, get a number. Um, you don't want to be the type of guy that, that he, he like sees a brand new shiny object. just like jets and, and yeah. moves for that and then it's, You know, yeah. get the number, have, end it on a high note, don't immediately, don't immediately leave. And then like, you, you know, you walk away and then you see this other girl. Yeah. Um, but you can always just use it as an opportunity to, to, to scale up, so to speak. Right. And he